where we have good news in this uh, Dutch Bangla Bank Test Series uh, between Bangladesh and New Zealand here on day three. The sun has broken out. Coming out to the field for start of play on day three. Well, I suppose I can say good morning and good afternoon wherever you are. Some sorting out to do because New Zealand are in a real spot to bother at 50. Lots of spin. There's even been a little bit of sea movement. kind of effect? We'll soon find out. Runs with five wickets in hand. And straight away pressure on the batters. Oh, I'm sure didn't know how to play that ball. Beat him. And that is a lovely looking shot. Look at him using the depth of the crease. Really timing it and placing it very well to get the first boundary of today. On the short side. Those, and as I speak, that's clouded away. That's a great shot. Not in absolute control. This time, that's a, a superlative strike. That is a delightful one, threading the needle. Kind of bounce off the track. Oh, goes big time. Catcher is the call. No one's going to catch that because it's going to sail away. And that is... Again, it's a shot from Glenn Phillips. And he's taking on the bowlers. No matter if you bring in the change, it's a new bowler. A bit of a pressure on the Bangladesh. This time we go down the wicket. Dal Mitchell might be in trouble. Oh, what a catch, Medias and Mirage. That is a spectacular catch. He had to run to his left. And he had speak of effort, speak of commitment. Daryl Mitchell wanted to join in on the party with Glenn Phillips. Took the bottom hand off. But he ran a long way, did Medias and Mirage, and rolled over and make sure that he had secured the ball within his hands. Mitchell, he has to go. The first wicket this morning, this afternoon, Daryl Mitchell goes for 18. New Zealand, 95 for six. The new batter is uh, what a spectacular catch. Yeah. He only managed to go 172. Oh, edge straight into the hands. Lovely delivery. Beautiful piece of bowling from Naeem Hassan. And he picks up another wicket. This is brilliant. Coming round the wicket to the left-hander Santner. Pitching around middle and north and massive turn. Getting the outside edge. Was a simple catch for Nazbul Sanchanto in the slip cotton. New Zealand, they've lost their seventh. Santner departs for one. New Zealand are 97 for seven. Really good over. He's turning the ball sharply, Naeem Hassan. Out. Hang around for a bit. So once in a while you're looking to big shot to play that shot and look at that go timing this time it's a short ball and with that boundary he will pick up uh, his second test 50 51 a quick fire 51 for Glenn Phillips and so important for the black caps also picked up a 50 against the same opposition into Again, an outside edge into the gap. This should go to the boundary. It does. Oh, his song is bad at that one. It's gone past the infield. Chase on. It's struck truly and it's reached the boundary. And slip into play. Once again, this time he had the time to rock back on the back foot and get a meaty part of the bat. Timed it well. This is beautifully placed by Glenn Phillips. Oh, he goes over the top. And that's gone a long, long way. 50 partnership. With... Oh, yes. And gone. That's the one. He's just bending at it. Just a half cock thing. It just didn't go through with the shot. Gets the edge. And a sharp catch taken in the slips. Well, it's a change in rhythm. Shorifal's brought on. Great change from the captain, Shanto, because it's produced this. A little tickle. And a change in pace for the game. He's got to go for 20. Scores 1-5, 2 for 8. New batter in for New Zealand is the skipper, Tim Saudi. 650s. Use his experience. Well, that's clouted. 
over the top. He has gone for four runs. It was short. He was asking for punishment. And he was ready to oblige. Goes long and high. And handsome. And Nicely played. It was angled in. Just used the pace of the bowl and it runs away for four. This time he gets the edge. And Nurul Hassan Chauhan takes it. Shori full celebrates. They've got the wicket they're looking for. And deny the 100 to Glenn Phillips. It's a genuine nick and then the keeper does the rest. Not of a hit from uh, Glenn Phillips. It's just a hint of movement. That is a really good delivery. Good comeback from uh, Shori full Islam. After buying hit for the boundary, he picks up the wicket and all the portal wicket of Glenn Phillips. Gone for 87. New Zealand, 180 for 9. Now in at number 11 is Ajaz Patel. Glenn Phillips, Shori for Islam. Getting his... Nigel, this is in the air. Should be the wicket. And yes, Vedya Samiraz doesn't miss those. This is the last wicket. On day three, New Zealand bowled out. This session, 24.3 overs, all ended for the Black Caps. Turn, trying to play, heave it on the onside, gets the, the top, takes another one. Took a beauty early on. Yeah, with the lead of eight runs, uh, here's the batting card yet again. Scoring 14 runs, contributing to a total of 180. Well, uh, two wickets for Shoriful Islam. This ball three. Third lowest total versus Bangladesh. Be with us. Seems it was all over about the shouting in terms of the Conditions. all adding to something negative for the batters. He resolute and uh, faced and this, uh, his partner Mahmoud Gul Hassan Joy will be straight away with the two faces opening the innings. Is that a surprise? I mean, it just shows you how foreign these conditions are for New Zealand. Oh, yes! that's been held. Yes, yes, He's got him on the second grab. Just a little poke outside and straight to the fielder. That is a great take and the reflex action. Well, this time there is sharp turn. You mentioned that previous delivery just slid on. Now it's sharp to turn. Enjoy. Has a little nibble at it, and so does Daryl Mitchell. Well held in the end. Doesn't matter how you get them. Ajaz Patel, to spin wicket. And that's exactly what Tim Southey's done. Joy goes for two. It's three for one. Comes in, and he's coming very early in the second yes. inning. Be tried there in the middle by the spin of Aj Again, this is the area that uh, Sandra wants to avoid. Is uh, just allowing the batters. Forward or back to it. Well, he has taken that attacking attitude and that has worked for... And there it is. First runs off Southie's test match. This on the wicket. Oh, that was one that went on with the arm. Missed the bat, missed the keeper and went for four by runs. Uh, he keeps on angling the balls. And this time around, once again, a little bit of good fortune. Let's try now, he is gone. He has just tried to take the attack. Well, it's the captain, Najmazal Hussain Shanto, who batted so well in Silet. He's just dropped the knee. He's tried to be aggressive. Gutsy shot on this pitch where there's a bit of variable bounce. It's high up on the bat, and Saudi will captain to captain. Saudi is victorious. Shanto goes for 15. It's 38 for two. Mominul Haq is uh, the it's new batter in, and it's a continuation. Yeah, he's got the numbers, but he's... So my uh, fellow commentator, we just had a change in HD Ackerman. They will stop play due to bad light. Not to be a very, very good one. Uh, Bangladesh in reply. And uh, welcome uh, to the...
Combox uh, proved to provide us with the, the best. Well, no good news here from the Sherry Bangla National Stadium in Dhaka. The umpires have deemed that the light is not fit enough for play to continue. So at the close of play on day number three Eight. for two. Ajaz, the left arm spin. So the state of play is that just a reminder. 